Yeah! Oh, there's that familiar theme song. I think it's time for Larry's Country Diner. We're so glad to have you. We got music, fun, frivolity, all of it in one little package for the next hour. I hope you'll stay with us. Right now, I want to introduce a man who's been known to dip his hand into Renee's tip jar from time to time for a little long. Of course, he always pays her back. Cure me right. to death. There's Larry! <laughs> No, I have to do the promise now, Renee. Oh, yeah. Well, let me tell you, I got a story about these tips. When we go to Branson, there is a tip jar on the counter in Branson, and he on purpose puts $100 bills <laughs> yeah. and, and leaves them to see if the crew will take them till the next time we come. It's an honest <laughs> And they don't take them. They don't take them. They think it's fake money. <laughs> well, it is. It is after I switch it. Oh, I see. <laughs> Speaking of fake money, See, it says right here, Colonel Littleton for president. Yeah. He's paying people to vote for him. Hey. <laughs> it's a $7 bill. <laughs> I, I'm with We've, you, We got Colonel Littleton here with us today. We're going to talk to him again in a minute. All right, the promise. Psalm 1611. You have made known to me the path of life. Did you ever take a left on the path of life? Oh, uh, once or twice. Yeah. <laughs> he who watches over you will not slumber. That's Psalms 121.3. Yeah. Boy, that's good. A lot of good promises there. All right, let's put that one right there. Boy, we got a great thing. To, we got Tim. Oh, Tim Atwood. Sitting right over there. Yeah, he is. At the piano. Uh-huh. Tim, let's. <laughs> Tim at wood, Tim at piano. Uh, yeah. Want to hit it. us with a song? I don't care. Call me anything. I just want to play and sing. All right. <laughs> hit us with a song. Then we're going right. to. Hey, keep I want rolling. audience precipitation. I mean, participation. <laughs> I'm going to. You know, I just saw a sign coming in and it said. It said something about uh, pedestrians. Uh -huh. And I thought it said Presbyterians. And I'm going. How would you know? <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those songs. Uh, it's called Come On If You're Coming. So I'm going to sing, Come On If You're Coming, and I want you to all sing it back to me. Like, Come On If You're Coming. Come On If You're Coming. Uh, maybe not you, Keith. I don't like that, Keith. Can you change the key? <laughs> but uh, anyhow, this is a song off the new CD coming up. All right, Tristan. Sitting here pretending like you don't know It's at least a half an hour past time to go Somewhere the king of the world is waiting on the queen She said, time ain't nothing but a magazine Come on if you're coming Come on if you're coming Come on if you're coming Don't make me wait so long This is earth to whatever little cloud you're on. It's a real fine line between patient and gone. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Don't make me wait so long. Yes, sir. Before. Yes, the dress is better than the ones on the floor. Yes, I'd say anything to get you out the door. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Don't make me wait so long. I ain't a chauvinist pig. My neck is not that red. If you was a man, I'd be upside your head. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Don't make me wait so long. Come on 
if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Come on if you're coming. Don't make me wait. Make me wait so long. coming there it is this, I like is, this it. is the new album yeah now is it going to be on cd and uh mm, album i don't think so uh i don't know <laughs> <laughs> where's, uh, where's i think it's just going to be cd roxanne knows everything yell it out cd and digital cd and digital CD yeah and digital. okay there you go. So we're not doing one of these. No, I, I wish I could. So many people are doing that now. Oh, the sound's incredible. I, I've got probably 6,000 albums at the house. I love to listen to vinyl. Except when you move. There. Exactly. <laughs> You're right about that, too. Tim do, Atwood. Do we, get, do we all get scale for singing with you? Uh, yeah, you sure do. Okay. See Tim after the show. Oh. What is scale? Wait, Union scale. We, we sang along with him. We performed. So you, With him? Yeah, you get paid extra. When did we do that? Uh, well, just right now. Come on, if when, you're coming. <laughs> Come on, if you're coming. <laughs> Come on, Ooh. Colonel Littleton. Colonel Littleton is from uh, a little town just down the road, mm -hmm. Linville, Tennessee. Yeah. Population 327. Is it really? Yeah. 320. Did somebody leave? Yeah. Every time somebody's born, somebody's got to leave. <laughs> it's a good plan. Colonel Littleton has been a long time friend who makes the greatest leather product in the world. And I asked him to come today because for our sponsors, we have some leather items for you. Let's open the case. Can we open the gate? Yeah. Can I lay this down for you? You may do whatever. And here I have one. Or oh, Randy. Look at that, right beside of Lou Ann. Look at that. All right. And here I have one. For Jeff. There you go, Jeff. And I have one here. For Colton. Colin. Colin. Oh, Colin. They spelled it funny. It's not my pronunciation, it was the way they spelled it. All right. Did it and get here spelled I have right, one Colin? for Paul. That's easy. Did it get spelled right? All right. Oh, oh now, yeah, it's just this good. may be the odd one here. Gus, that's not yeah. odd. Well, oh. <laughs> you're right. That's the odd one. <laughs> you're welcome. Now, y'all, you know what happens. If I didn't bring Larry something, you know, you know how that goes. You know, I'd get offended. A kid, you know, you got to bring him something. Every time I give somebody else something. So, Black, I got something for you right here. What? What is it? This is perfect. For Larry's Country Diner. <laughs> I know what it is. I've seen this in your catalog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leather flash water. <laughs> I love it. Hey, Nadine's on the way. Look out, Tim. I hope you're ready. We'll be back. <laughs> Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Well, <clears throat> we're going to see if Nadine got a gift from the Colonel. <laughs> uh, there's Larry. Did you bring me this you bag? You know better. Thank you. She, he brought me a bag. Uh, he, oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> brought Nadine the bag. It's good. Hey, the bag. Here she comes. <laughs> How you doing, Nadine? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. you look good. What? From here up. <laughs> you ain't got no pants on, do you? <laughs> You're sitting at the wrong angle. <laughs> Where the world these uh, days. Uh -huh. Hey, Mr. Tim. Good to have you here. Did you say hello to Ben Hall? Hey, Ben Hall. Is it Hall or Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Don't confuse me. We like you. We like you. <laughs> It's good to have some young blood in this place, finally. Young <laughs> blood. I tell you what, me and Homer was on our way over here this morning. Yeah. And we passed three cars with one person in it wearing a mask. What's wrong with them people? Say what? Well, there's one person driving a car and they got a mask on and there's nobody else in the yeah. car. I said, I told Homer, I said, that's the reason we have instructions on shampoo bottles. <laughs> <laughs> This is it's just getting way out of hand. Ooh. I told him, I said, 2020 is like 
you know, you look both ways before you cross the street and then you get hit by an airplane. Uh -huh. <laughs> a drone. Drone. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, let me ask something. Yep. For the second half of this quarantine, do we have to stay with the same family or can we rotate? No, you can rotate. Okay, I'm asking for a friend. Uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, that sounds good. You know, the good thing about having a social life like me and Homer is you really don't notice much about a quarantine. Mm. Homer told me yesterday, he said, I'm going to do something different today. I said, what are you going to do? He said, at the other end of the couch. <laughs> <laughs> My kids are, won't let us go anywhere. They said, well, your age, you don't need to be going out anywhere. You need to be getting that food from that hub grub, grub hub, whatever that thing is. They go get you food and bring uh -huh. it to you. And I said, well, that's a pretty good idea. I said, uh, we like Mexican food. So what do you do about that endless chips and salsa? Do they come back every 20 minutes or do you have to call them? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But Only you, Lou. Yeah. I know. Homer said, you know, if, if people knew that if they stayed in their house for seven days straight, it would save the 2020 football season. Everybody right now be locked in their room. Yeah. Except me. I wouldn't be there. Because you don't be, care about football. I could give a rip about football. <laughs> <laughs> How you really feel? But I tell you what I do care about. Whoever decided that a liquor store is more essential than a hair salon is a ball-headed alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> That ticks me off. <laughs> <laughs> and this toilet paper thing, I tell you what. I, you know, back in our day, you know, uh -huh. there was so much toilet paper that people would take it and throw it up in the trees of their enemies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure. They're getting it back on the, on the store shelves, though, now. It's, it's coming back. Yeah. I told Homer, I, you know, I'm so sick of all this stuff. I, this weekend, I told him, I said, I'm going to throw some candy out in the yard. <laughs> I'm going to put a turkey in the oven. I'm going to open some gifts. And this year's over. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready it's for done. a new. It's done. Yeah. I talked done. to a fellow the other day. He said, I'm not even counting my birthday this year. I didn't use it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm going to go put the sign up. And what's it going to say? This is a good one. Time is short, hell is hot. The king is coming, ready or not. Ooh. <laughs> Powerful. Powerful. I like that. I like that. Mr. Tim. Yes, sir. You got a song for us? I do. Hey, did you notice I've lost 20 pounds? I, I noticed it. I didn't mean to. I've been uh, stalking a jogger. <laughs> 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 I want to do this... Uh, this song has got three sections to it, and I relate to all three of them. One of them is when you're kids, you dare each other to do stuff. And uh, I had a son that was in the service, and uh, the second verse is like that. And then uh, in 2000, I lost my wife, Diana. She and I were married for 20 years. And, but this song is, is kind of puts it all together. Than it ever did before Even though we crossed a hundred times or more We were scared So we dared each other You first And I'll be right behind you You first I'll meet you on the other side The nature of a hero Requires a leap of faith You'll find out what you're made of When it's your time to say you first A chopper drops a ladder in the middle of the war Sergeant said there's only room for just one more Two wounded brothers One says to the other You first 
And I'll be right behind you, you first. I'll meet you on the other side. The nature of a hero requires a leap of faith. You'll find out what you're made of when it's your time to say you first. Now I'm standing over you All the years that we've been through I thought it would be me Never thought that it might be You first But I'll be right behind you Meet you on the other side. You always were my hero. Here's my leap of faith. You'll find out what you're made of when it's your time to say. I relate. I relate. You first. Yes. Mm. I, I think of all the people, that club where you've lost a spouse. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's a very special club. Uh, you know, I lost Rock, or Diane whenever uh, I was like 44 years old. And I had two boys, 16 and 17. And uh, wow. it's just amazing. And I can't imagine, you know, when you lose a spouse, that's probably the hardest thing. I think the only thing worse would be able to have to lose a child. I yeah. think that would be the worst. But, but anyhow, I've always I've always said when it comes to children, they're not supposed to go first. No, no, they're not. Great song, Tim. Thank that you is. very much. That Thank is you. that on the new album? It is. I want to thank Gus Arendelle, too, because he helped out on this project. It's. I tell you what, Larry. It's one of those albums that. It could be classified country, but it's a wide variety of material. Yeah. My grandpa always told me not everybody likes the same things, otherwise everybody would be after your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. We'll be right back. Woo! Ah, yes, sir. Well, we'll be back with more Larry's Country Diner in just a moment. Stay with us. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Oh, we've got a... We got a great special for you today. Today's special diners. Tim, never mind the man with the fly swatter. <laughs> Tim Atwood's Living the Dream chocolate pie with a CD. A treat for your palate and your ears for the same price. It's wonderful. There's Larry. Where do you get that deal? Right here, today. It's a special. It's right there on the menu, see? And I'll kill the flies. <laughs> I knew we shouldn't turn you loose with that. Colonel Littleton, thank you for my fly swatter. Oh, I just now noticed it's got L Larry's Country Diner LCD That's right. on it. LCD. Wow. Personalized. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm was going to put I'm, Ben Hall on here, but yeah. he couldn't. <laughs> I'm glad my mama didn't have one of those. Oh, isn't life. that the truth? Ooh. I mean, that's, bad enough. That's worse than the switch off the tree. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> that from one of my daughter-in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that they can go to Tim Atwood. Oh, thank you. Dot com to get his music. Yeah. Tim Atwood dot com. Well worth the trip. T i m a t w o o d. That's me. Dot com. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, I got to tell you a quick story. Okay. The other day we came in and uh, we let our dog out in the backyard. Well, he got sprayed. Was it this dog? That's the dog. Look at mm -hmm. this beautiful little pup. Yeah. Well, we let him out in the backyard. Well, either he found the skunk or the skunk found him. So Roxanne immediately took him up to give him a bath. <laughs> and uh, so what happened was she was 
she needed tomato juice. Yep. And she didn't have any, but she saw some spaghetti sauce. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so she washed the dog with the spaghetti sauce. Our little white dog now just makes me think of a plate of spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's precious. We doing another song? Yes, please. All right. This is a song, uh, going to church. I mean, this, this guy meets this girl, and he falls in love with her. And in the process, he falls in love with the Lord. This is called Saved by Grace. be sitting in the back row staring at her blonde hair and blue eyes grace was her name hate to admit it but her smile kept me coming back each Sunday God knew what he was doing When he sent her to me And every day I thank him Without her where would I be She's the reason that I pray And strength behind my faith was saved by grace Well that was 40 years ago But it seems like yesterday We were married in that church From the love heaven made She's been the rock that I have needed And my light along the way An angel here on earth More than I deserve Between Jesus and her was saved by grace God knew what he was doing when he sent her to me and every day I thank him without her She's the reason that I pray, the strength behind my faith. I was saved by grace. Saved by grace. I was saved by grace. Saved by grace. The sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Man. That's good. Thanks. Very good. Thank you. Some powerful we used to stuff. sing Amazing Grace, What a Girl, What a Face. <laughs> <laughs> I think I knew her. I think you did. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Larry's cut for a diner.
got more to come. You gonna do another song? Okay, one more coming up. Diner, are we having a good time or what? I'll ask Claire, are you having a good time, Larry? I am, Renee. What you, you wrote me a note here. What? Oh, Branson. We're going oh, to do a show. Oh, we're going Branson. to Branson. That's right. In October. <laughs> we're in Branson. Right now. We're in Branson. Right at As we speak. <laughs> a week of pure and heaven. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Pure <laughs> heaven. I'm going on Everybody's that Everybody's ready for this entertainment and to be at the theater and enjoy all of the cast and artist. I want to do that new ride. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to ride it with Nadine. No, 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 no. That would end your back brace. <laughs> Maybe I, I wouldn't out, have to have the operation then. I'll find out how many bad words she knows on that thing. Tim Atwood, what a joy to have you here. Thank you for having me. It is. And it's Tim Atwood. Who I am. Right. Uh, I looked at it and I thought, it's who am I? I'm glad I picked it up and looked at it again. <laughs> who I am. That's who I am. Roxanne said, who are you? I said, I'm a tourist. I like long walks on the beach and uh, candlelight dinners. Oh, wait a minute. That's my eHarmony profile. <laughs> 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 I love it. Give us a song to get All right. out of here. This is a song uh, that uh, was written by Elvis Presley. He never recorded it. It's a gospel song. I'm a firm believer in God, and uh, this is one of those songs that really touched me when I heard it.
TimAtwood.com. Go there and buy what he's got. <laughs> it's all good. My wife went to church with Elvis. Really? Same church in First Assembly of God in Memphis. I talked to Elvis on the phone one time. Did you? I, uh, when I was 18, I flew down. The Rambos yep. were looking for a piano player. So I flew down. I was staying with Dottie Rambo. Yep. And uh, the phone rang, and she said, can you get that? And I said, sure. And, of course, I'm 18. I'm going, Rambo residence. And this voice <laughs> goes, oh, uh, is Dolly there? And I said, yes, may I ask who's calling? He went, Elvis. <laughs> and once I cleaned my underwear out, I said, Dolly, <laughs> it's Elvis. You know, she said he used to call her looking for uh, passages of Scripture. Yep. Wow. So, yeah, that's very cool. So you went to church with Elvis? Wow, how cool. I, da I dated him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't doubt it. Boots. <laughs> Luann said she could have made him happy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, I've known you all these years. I didn't know you'd talk to Elvis. Wow. Uh, Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we don't care. All right. Now, check out Larry's Country Diner YouTube page. Subscribe for free.